I'm not afraid. Yeah. It's been a ride. Everybody. I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now some of you might still be in that place. Hey guys, day number two for the pre-op diet. Uh, um, the official pre-op diet. Um, I'm doing okay. Today I had a lot. We had to go to a swimming pool. We went swimming. I didn't. The kids did. Obviously my kids spilt something on my information here. Um, and then we had to go to a benefit dinner and then we went to the softball field for uh, today's activity. So today um, it was hard because I am a social eater. Today was a lot harder for me. Um, it was much harder today because I'm a social eater and I'm sorry the camera's shaking. I'm, I'm gonna get my hands off the table here. Um, because I don't think about it and when I when we were at the benefit dinner we were ordering food and I wasn't thinking about the pre-op diet and I ordered a they had hot dogs and um, pulled pork and I ordered the pulled pork at first and it came with like baked beans um, and what do you call it coleslaw and a pickle and by the time we got to the table I looked at it and I went wait a minute I'm not supposed to eat this so Ronnie got to eat the pulled pork sandwich I had a little bit of the coleslaw and a couple of bites of the beans. I did good. I did really good. Earlier when we were at the pool, I had a mango smoothie. So it was with real mangoes. I say you're shaking my table. It was with real mangoes, ice, and um, they had orange juice in there, which orange juice had a lot of sugar um, and a couple other things. I think it was like a cherry or a wild berry juice in there, and those are probably full of sugar. So anyway, um, I had a mango drink. So I kind of was discreet. If I were gonna cheat, I'm gonna cheat at least an easy way, not go heavy duty. I didn't want to upset my stomach. My stomach is having a hard time already because these protein shakes are um, milk-based products and my stomach does not handle milk at all. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go get some like vanilla almond milk and actually make protein shakes. I would rather drink the pre-made, but I was looking at the ingredients and I was like wondering why my stomach was upset and it says contains milk and I'm going, oh, no wonder why it's got whey in it and milk proteins and um, all sorts of stuff that I'm lactose intolerant a little bit. So I can't keep drinking these. I'll finish them, but I would rather probably go get some almond milk and mix it with this chocolate or I probably need to go get a vanilla because vanilla is something I lean towards too. So day number two was a little bit harder to keep in track of what is going on. I gained a pound um as of this morning not sure why i gained a pound maybe because i'm retaining water and it's that time you know i mean just honestly it's that time for me which is good because i want to get that done and over for um so i'm not on it during the surgery so um anyway i think tomorrow i'll be brave enough for uh, day three to show my body so you guys can see how my body is so um as far as numbers go, every every day I'm going to say my numbers so you guys can compare and they will be in the description box as well. Um, starting weight was 220, um, pre-op diet weight was 218 uh, starting last, last Sunday and then two days ago was 213 and then I gained a pound so I'm back up to 214. And um, I don't think it's because of eating. I didn't eat anything yesterday. I woke up this morning and I was 214, so I gained a pound. And it's probably because, like I said, my hormones are out of whack right now. It's that time of the month. Blah, blah, blah. So, um, that's probably why I'm gaining weight. I feel right now and painful. They did say that I can't have any seven days prior. So, um, I could take medicine now and I think I will. But seven days prior to the surgery, they say you can't take any at vitamins or medicines like aspirin, ibuprofen, Motrin, Advil, Nuprin, Aleve, any other non-steroidal, non I can't say that word, anti-inflammatory medication. I can't take any of that. And I have uh, some medication that I'm on. So for the next week, it's going to be a lot harder if I'm in pain. I can't take any of that stuff. But they want your body completely cleaned out. So there are no complications. And I want to go by the rules. I want to follow the rules as much as I can 
if when if and when I think about it, because like today I almost made a huge mistake and go off and eat. Um, if I can make, uh, you know, I want to follow the rules. I don't want any complications because number one, I'm going to Mexico, and I don't have to stay over there if there was any complications. So. Um, I have to get back because I'm a mom of two and my husband has to work and he can't miss any work so I have to be back. So I want to follow the rules, I want to make sure I'm doing things right, I'm not eating a lot. If I eat it's one or two bites, I'm just, uh, just satisfying the taste buds, you know what I'm saying. So anyway, today was a fun day, I had a really good day, I was very active today and I'm wide awake right now, I think I'm wired, but I think within the hour when I'm editing this video and other, my daily blog for my other channel. Um, I'll probably start to crash, but it was a pretty good day. Swimming pool with the kids. Uh, I stayed out of the water, number one, because of the time of the month. Number two, I feel fat. And there was a bunch of teenagers there, all in bikinis and skinny. And I was like, I miss those days. Uh, I used to be that way. So I kind of felt, it felt weird for me. So I just kept my dress on. I just tanned the upper area up here. Um, but I kept on thinking, one day that'll be me. I'll be healthy again. I'll be, I'm gonna run and exercise again. I'm gonna get back to where I used to be. So, uh, yeah, so 214 as of today. Um, I'm sure my sizes are all the same. I'm only gonna uh, do measurements once a week because I don't think it changes overnight. Drastically, at least before the, per the, the surgery. We'll see how the surgery of post-op goes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Um, hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. And I really appreciate it. And I want to give a shout out to Mama and Me um, Surgery Vlogs. I think that's their name. Um, Cassie and her mom. Cassie had gotten, got, had went through some serious complications. And my prayers and um, my heart goes out to Cassie. She is recovering. She's feeling a lot better. But um, that was kind of probably traumatic for the situation. Um, so hopefully she will do a wonderful job um, during the sleeve. And yeah, it, it is it is a risk taking ordeal. This is not the easy way out. If you're watching, this is not the easy way out, guys. This is not something that you just go and do and to become sent. You have to do things right. You have to exercise. You have to make sure you follow by the rules. It's 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 something where it's more like a lifestyle change and you force your way to it because um let's face it I, I fail at all diets so i have to force my way there anyway like i said i was closing out before i start babbling off anymore we'll see you guys all tomorrow for day number three and i hope you guys have a wonderful night and we'll see you guys all next time love you guys ciao